In case you missed my video on John ja Morant in college, then you've been sleeping on the next great point guard in the NBA. He's already hit the ground running, looking like an experienced veteran, and last night against the Hornets was a perfect microcosm of his season thus far. And when I tell you he's a mix between Russell Westbrook, Dame Lillard, and Trey Young, you might think I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. But I'm here to tell you that you'd better get on the bandwagon now before it's all full and there is simply no more room. It didn't take long for Morant to provide us with a nifty little highlight. Off the steel, check the behind the back pickup for the lefty layup. Let's look at that again, shall we? He gets a ball screen from Balanchunas, reads the defense, who wants to force him back left, but look at the change of pace to allow the play to develop, forcing Zeller to make a decision. He gets caught in between, and a nice lob gets Morant an assist. The scouting report must have been to force him left, but I'd argue he's better going in that direction, as he gets way creative with the inside hand drifting floater off the glass. Again, check the Hezzy to keep the defense off balance and prevent them from getting between him and the basket. There was no room to shoot this lefty, so great adjustment on the fly. This time, they try to force him away from the ball screen to his right. The ball gets fumbled for a second, but how in the world does he find this pass to Solomon Hill on the weak side wing? Not only that, but it's perfectly on target for a wide open three ball. I mean, maybe he shuffled the feet slightly, but let's not be a wet blanket. And it's hilarious that he's got Biombo spinning all the way around with no idea where the ball is until it's splashing through the net. What I like is his ability to move off ball, as the Grizzlies offense ran a little pinch post action, but instead of following the ball to the outside, he reads the defense well, cuts to the inside, and a little dump off the slow-mo gets him another assist. While I probably would like to see him be a little bit more aggressive with his shot here, after all, it's a wide open free throw line jumper, he had already given Hill some energy with a beautiful pass, and finds him even more wide open for another triple from that same spot. It feels like his teammates are still getting used to him, Hill passing it off target, not understanding that Morant wanted to cut towards the basket to catch it. But this just morphs into an ISO, and watch how he uses both footwork and handwork to sell the shot fake. His feet begin the left-right one-two of a shot before the back foot taps. At the same time, his shooting hand comes up to the ball, stopping just short of touching it. This reaction from the defender is all he needs to get going into the lane at full speed, then absorb some contact and make this one-footed finish look a lot easier than it was. When you call Morant a playmaker, it's because he can adjust on the fly and simply make you wonder how the heck he got the ball to go in the basket. He splits the pick and roll with a behind the back dribble, the look away fake pass, gets hit, avoids the help and drops this in off the glass. Wow. And this brings us to maybe my favorite part of his game, the no look passes out of the pick and roll. While this was a turnover, it's only a matter of time till his teammates get used to this and are more prepared to catch and finish. But there was also this lefty hook pass to the corner after recognizing the rotation of the defense. The key is how much mustard the pass had and its accuracy, allowing practice-like shots for his teammates. This time, Valanchunas can handle the no-look pass off the roll, which was open precisely because the weak side rotation was worried of his ability to get into the corner in a hurry. And even when the defense does a good job of taking away the hook pass, the roll pass, and the drive, he sucks in the weak side defenders and delivers another accurate pass on the numbers for an open catch and shoot. On the quick attack, it forces Zeller to have to pick him up, and Morant is certainly not shy about isolating the mismatch. One criticism I have is that he doesn't take enough threes, since he's scorching them at 44%, but on less than two attempts per game. It's rare to see a rookie guard come in right away and become the man in the offense so quickly, but the team has no problem setting double drag screens for him and letting him just create. This Hezzy does stretch the boundaries of what's legal or not, but how about the hyper-quick floater release with the right hand before the defense could react? More great movement off the ball when it's passed to the high post. Jaw has a choice to get the handoff or cut back door. 
he chose wisely. While he has struggled a bit as a finisher in transition, with his length, size, and power, it's only a matter of time till he strikes fear into retreating defenders. Ja has the whole package, from the hezzies to the hoop, the three-pointer off the dribble, and then the floater from 15 feet in. Remember, with the dimes we've seen him throw, the defense doesn't know how to defend this action. It wasn't a perfect game, mind you. Even as he expertly splits another pick and roll and gets right into the lane, he rushed the shot instead of finding his choice of open shooter in either corner. And the beautiful block and save by Bridges gets the Hornets on the attack in a hurry and eventually moving the ball around the perimeter until Rozier gets a clean catch on the right wing and trims the late lead to only seven. And after cutting it to three with under 40 seconds to go, Morant calmly brings the ball up under pressure, but gets caught too close to the baseline, in a situation where the refs tend to swallow their whistles. So it's a bad turnover, which allowed Charlotte to improbably tie the game on the next possession when Devontae Graham continues his surprise run this season with the jab step top of the key triple. But that just brings us to the main event putting all of Memphis's hopes in the young rookie's hands out top, where they force a switch to give Morant the mismatch, and he almost uses the fumble of the ball as part of his move, which gets him into the lane. Again, notice how he likes going left. Off both feet in rhythm, surrounded by three defenders, he adds a bit of a double pump to find space to release the ball with the left hand, and it kisses almost the whole circle before gently dropping through for the tough road victory and his first game-winning notch in his belt. While the Grizzlies have a big incentive to lose games in order to keep their protected first-round pick from the Celtics, I think John Moran is going to make that almost impossible with the kind of play from him we've already seen in this young season. These are the kinds of plays that keep teams in the game and yield wins. So get on the bandwagon now and let's all enjoy this kid as he whirls and spins and scoops and flips with a degree of skill that certainly puts John Moran at the very top of my favorite players list. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to B-Ball Breakdown so you can get alerted right away when we drop a new video. This season will be filled with incredible content, so don't miss it. You in?